Hello my gorgeous Aquarians. Aquarius, how are you guys? It is lovely to be with you. Coming out of meditation, it was really interesting. I was seeing someone at a computer. They were going onto various dating sites, social media platforms, thinking I need to meet more people. I want to find my person. I do want a relationship. Where are they? You know, where is my perfect person? It's really interesting because this person, it's a girl actually, this girl logged off the PC. She went out to get some local supplies at her pharmacy. And the person that was standing behind her was very attractive. And they started having a conversation. And this person expressed, this man expressed that he was in the area. He just moved to this new apartment. And they struck up a conversation and they exchanged numbers. So after that time, the vision then just faded. And Michael's telling me to say, there's no point in going around the houses because they are already there. So Aquarius, it could be that you've been looking in different states, looking at different cities, you know, trying to find someone that doesn't live too far away. They are right there. They're there. This person, your person. So Aquarius, let's delve into this reading and see what comes through. Very exciting energy for you. As always, using a selenite to help me connect through with Archangel Michael and Divine Source. The deck is the Gilded Tarot, Chiron Marchetti. Aquarius, have you been going around the houses trying to find the right person? They're right under your nose, Aquarius. <laughs> we had a card that flew out. Let's have a look at that in a minute. So here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my beautiful Aquarians. This is mid-April. Okay, he wants that too. Okay, mid-April 2022. What do we have, my Aquarians, mid-April 2022? Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing Archangel Sandalphon, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Azriel. Thank you, Michael. Excuse me, my voice is going, guys. Too many readings today. <laughs> Angela and Rose, my spirit guides are coming through. Cedric is coming through. Hmm. Michael's telling me, and the wheel turns. And the wheel turns. Okay. Okay. Aquarius. Uh, have you been trying to find your person? Maybe you've been looking too far afield. Let's have a look. Ace of Swords. Clarity and truth. Judgment in the reverse. For some of you, you have been wanting to totally detach. But with judgment in the reverse, you've been making the wrong decisions. Hmm. Now, also, Aquarius, if you have been sometimes thinking back at the past, maybe that person I dated, maybe my ex, I don't know. They're telling you that the divine isn't bringing back anybody from the past who you're meeting. The person for you is somebody brand new. But you have to cut away from the past in order for the divine to bring in this new person. So even though I think you've been looking for your person, the one for you, it may be you've been looking for someone new, you may have been thinking back at the past. The divine is saying, no, look to the future. And they're right there. I keep hearing they're right there. Knight of Cups in reverse, feeling frustrated. You want to move forward in love. You haven't found the right person. The Empress, this is you. My lovely Aquarians, you're sitting in empirical energy. You're so ready for a proper relationship. Someone who'll take you seriously, but lacking in finding that person. Four of Cups in the past, you did have an offer of love that came in, but you weren't sure you wanted to take it. It wasn't right for you. You may have pushed away someone that you felt a strong connection to because you were not supposed to move forward with that person. 
In the immediate past, the hangman, you could have Pisces in your chart, Taurus and or Libra. With a hangman, you felt very stuck. Again, didn't need the right person. A lot of stagnant energy and you're just feeling as if you want to now. In your thoughts, the death card. For some of you, you may be thinking about a Scorpio. But for many of you, you may have thought, well, that's it. I'm not going to find my person. May as well give up. Death card. It could be for some of you, the divine is saying, we want to help you transform your life. We want to bring someone in. But you need to cut away from the past. We're not bringing back an ex. We're not bringing back somebody you already know. You need to look to the future. Okay. Seven of Wands. Mm, Aquarius. Are you a bit defensive? Are you being pushing people away? In your fears, fearing you're just not going to find the right person for you. But I think... Aquarius, what the divine is saying is you have to change your energy. Two major blocks that I can immediately see. For some of you, you may have judged a book by its cover. You may have pushed away people that weren't immediately super attractive to you. It could be also that you were thinking about somebody from the past, hoping maybe that they would come back in. And I think also you've been slightly defensive in meeting new people. Maybe even subconsciously, somebody tried to have a conversation with you. You may have moved on, said to them, I'm busy, I'm sorry, I've got to go. Yeah, yeah, no, it's nice to see you, but uh, yeah, I've got things to do. And I think all of that together has caused you to feel lacking in love, although you're sitting in the Empress energy. You're ready. In the environment, the star in the reverse. There's going to be a test coming in, Aquarius. With the star in your person's energy, this is somebody who hasn't forgotten you. This is somebody who wants to come back into your life. They haven't healed from you, from the connection with you. The divine is saying potentially that it may be a good thing that you put up boundaries with this person because I feel they want to bring someone in that's new. So we have a test coming in. What you're hoping for is with the Knight of Swords, you're going to meet someone who's going to be open, honest. They're going to pursue you. They're going to tell you the truth. Beautiful energy. In the outcome, three of wands, you may meet someone if you go on a trip or they are suggesting that you turn your back on the past and you look for the new. You look for the new. I keep hearing they're right there, Aquarius. Okay, Eight of Swords, a little bit of fear kicking in. Okay, Six of Pentacles in reverse. You're not giving very much of your time and energy to people, or you haven't been. And it may be because with the Seven of Swords in the reverse, you had to deal with some lies, manipulation, people who weren't reliable, people who weren't trustworthy, and it caused you to... Crawl into your shell a little bit, Aquarius, in the nicest sense. But with the Queen of Wands, you're such a catch, Aquarius. You're such a catch. You're sitting in the energy of the Empress and the Queen of Wands. This is a highly attractive woman who gets things done. Very creative, ambitious. Somebody who is warm and nurturing. Yeah. Okay, under the deck. Queen of Pentacles. And you're financially stable. And you're financially stable. Mm. But look at this. Interesting. The tower in the reverse. You may have gone through some tower moments and it's caused you to feel very nervous about reaching out to new people. So you may have subconsciously always found yourself thinking about the past, past people. Because for you, you may have felt that it was safe. But I don't think those past people treated you very well, Aquarius. And the divine is saying, look for the new. And not necessarily in the next state, in the next city. They're there in your area. Okay. Interesting. Seeing 1414 as I record this. 
Yeah, that's completion. That's five and five, which is 10. That's completion. So people, we're delving in. We start off with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. You're feeling as if love isn't coming in. We're sitting in Empress Energy. Where is my person? Where is my person? Says Aquarius. I want somebody to come in to offer me love, but I don't want somebody who's going to come in, romance me, and then head off in another direction. So, this is you needing to take control of some energy that you're hanging on to that isn't doing you any favours. In the past, Four of Cups, there was a divine love, but for some reason you didn't trust it, you didn't feel it was for you, and you said no. Might have been a good thing, may not have been. After that time with the energy of the hangman, Pisces, you felt very stuck. You felt very stuck in a situation. Maybe you were just very busy. Maybe you had a lot that you had to cope with. So maybe you put love on the back burner for a while or you just were very confused as to how to meet your person. Where are they? I keep hearing. With the energy of the death card, you may feel, well, that's it. I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. I may as well get used to it. <laughs> you may be thinking, some of you of a Scorpio from the past, you could be thinking, I want major change and transformation in my life. And that involves me moving forward with a life partner, but I don't know where to find them. Archangel Michael, when is the energy of the Seven of Wands coming in for my Aquarians? Thank you. Michael's saying imminent. Imminent May. 5th of May, he's pointing forward. To the 14th of May. Very short period of time. Within that period of time, and remember... It's not going to be exactly in that period, but around about that time. You've got somebody coming in. You've got someone coming in with the energy of the star in the reverse who misses you. This is your card of Aquarius. This is somebody who misses your energy. You reversed out of their life and they haven't healed. They haven't got their wish come true. You've gone. Could be somebody you pushed away in the past. And they're coming back in. But I've got to be honest, Aquarius, I don't think this is your person. And I think you know it. This could be a test from the universe. Well, Aquarius, if you keep thinking about people from the past, judgment in the reverse. We're not going to bring anyone back in that is going to last. You're not destined to move forward into a serious relationship with somebody that you've known before. But they're coming in. I think with the Seven of Wands, you're going to stand your ground. In the nicest sense, it may be you say to this person, look, it's lovely to see you again. It's great to hear from you again. But yeah, this isn't going to be moving into some kind of relationship. You're standing your ground. It may be this is someone who didn't treat you well in the past and you are realising, no, the past isn't for me. So this is you realising that. OK, step one, let's not go back to the past. In your fears, fearing you're simply not going to find the one. But this could be you looking at things from a negative point of view. Well, I haven't met anyone so far. The people I have met haven't been honest with me, haven't been reliable, have been with other people. And this is you kind of losing faith. You're fearing that you're simply going to be moving forward alone. But this is just what you're fearing. It's not real. So it may be that they're also telling you to be more positive about meeting people. What you're hoping for with the Knight of Swords is that someone's going to come in who is reliable, trustworthy, they're going to pursue you and they're going to speak their truth. You don't have to worry about someone lying to you or not telling you their true situation. That's what you're hoping for. The outcome is you realising with the Three of Wands that your ship is coming in. But I get the impression, Aquarius, that this is somebody in your area. You're moving forward with somebody new. You are going to be embracing change. This is a very exciting energy. 
And I think this is you realising. So for some of you, you've either been looking much further afield, different states, different cities, even different countries for someone, or you've constantly been thinking back at the past. But the divine is saying you don't need to think thousands of miles away, hundreds of miles away. You also are not destined to move forward into a serious relationship with somebody you've already met. You need to be slightly less defensive. You need to lift your vibration and think more positively. And I think with all of that taken on board, your person is going to be, I'm hearing, just around the corner. This is what you're worried about. Eight of Swords. You were in your head before. Maybe this is you fearful of moving forward towards somebody new because in the past six of pentacles in the reverse, people didn't give you a lot of time, a lot of energy. Maybe you met the wrong type of people, the people who didn't really want a commitment. And with the seven of swords in reverse, you may also have been dealing with people who were shady, deceptive, manipulative. And with the energy of the queen of wands, I think you stood up for yourself. Many of you did. And this is you also realising, you know, I still have got it. I've got it. I've still got it. I am quite attractive when I make a bit of an effort. I am sitting in the energy of the Empress. And I'm financially stable with the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. So you know you have a fair bit to offer, Aquarius, male or female. Think I'm connecting with the feminine, but, you know, it's tarot. Ace of Swords. So the divine is coming in to tell you the truth, which is with the judgment card in the reverse, they're not going to bring in somebody from the past. That is over. They may try to come in, but I think the divine is saying no, Aquarius. Cut away from those that you knew in the past. Queen of Pentacles, you're strong, you're grounded, you're financially stable. But with the tower in the reverse, you've had to pick up the pieces from various connections that just didn't work out. Maybe connections from the past. So people, are you ready? Let's jump in. Archangel Michael, what is the Knight of Cups in the reverse crossed with the Empress? Seven of Pentacles. You may have been reviewing past relationships. You may be thinking of the time and energy and effort you put into situations or simply you're sitting in Empress energy and you're financially very stable. You could have just been heads down in your work, in your career. Seven of Cups in the reverse. You may have done it because you might have looked at other options. No one really was of interest. Or you decided you didn't want to put in a lot of energy and effort into dating, maybe because previously you didn't have any luck. So you thought, well, why bother? So for some of you, you concentrated on your finances. Five of Wands. For some of you, you were fed up with having to fight for people, the competition. But you also sat in conflict. Is it just going to be me and my stability for the rest of my life? Is it because I haven't been putting that much effort in to meeting new people? You're thinking about this. What is the Four of Cups in the past? Two of Wands, you stood at crossroads. You may have had a choice between two people. You may not have chosen either. This is also you coming up to crossroads, a serious turning point in your life. And you're looking at that offer that came in in the past and you just weren't interested. Maybe this person was simply not for you. Maybe you were doing other things in the past. Maybe you were building a career. What is the energy of the hangman in the immediate past for my Aquarians? Two of swords in reverse. You saw the truth. 
that you felt a bit stuck, you didn't want to see the truth, you may have thought things are fine, it's me, I'm stable, I've got friends around me, family around me, pets around me, kids if you're a single mom. But you realised that in those quiet moments, you felt on your own. You didn't want to see it, but you saw it. And you realised, I'm a bit stuck. So what did Aquarius realise in the immediate past? Three of Pentacles, that you were so busy working, building a career maybe, that you had no time for love. For others of you, you saw the truth, that the people that you met were usually dealing with somebody else third parties or it could be that you saw the truth in that you wanted somebody to build a life with not somebody who was just going to take you out on a Friday night not somebody who would just wanted to come around for friends with benefits you wanted a partner who was going to work with you to build a life together somebody who was going to really put in the effort Michael what is the death card Nine of Wands in reverse. You gave up on someone because it was just too much of a struggle. It was too heavy. It wasn't going anywhere. Could have been with a Scorpio. It drained you. It exhausted you. You gave it up. Or maybe what you went through in the past caused you so many problems <laughs> that you decided, well, maybe I should just give up on finding love. Mm. Queen of Swords, you. So Aquarius, I think you gave up on a situation that wasn't feeding you. This person wasn't really putting in effort. They weren't on the same page as you. And I think you spoke your truth. And you ended a situation that wasn't working. You're thinking about that. Maybe for some of you, you're thinking, did I do the right thing? And I think the divine, with the ace of swords and the judgment in the reverse, which is we're not going to bring back whoever you're thinking about from the past, is saying, yes, you did make the right decision. This person was not right for you. Michael, who is sad of the energy of a star in the reverse? This is someone who wants back in. Okay, temperance, could be a Sagittarius. This is someone who wants to heal the connection with you. They may be wanting to take it slowly with you, but I don't know. Aquarius, I think you're putting up strong boundaries. What else is this person thinking about? The world, they could live a distance. Or well, this is someone that things ended with before and they want a brand new start with you. I think they're going to be coming towards you to reconnect. Okay. Yeah. They've been thinking about this a lot. They may have been heartbroken. They may have realized, Aquarius, they didn't put any energy or effort into the connection before with you. They may have dated multiple people at the same time. And they know it. And they're coming back in with a different energy, but I just feel that you're done. They're heartbroken because they realise that they didn't behave in the right way. I think they treated you like an option. And they are heartbroken because they see you moving on. They're thinking about you. Yeah, Magician in the reverse. Ooh, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. There could even have been three people in the past who didn't treat you well. Or they're thinking about the fact that they might have manipulated you and that's why you detached. They're coming back in. They want to heal the situation. But I don't think that they can manifest you back in. They may know very well that you're well within your rights to say no. They're looking at you, Aquarius, and they're highly stressed. Yeah, they're burdened. And they're burdened because they see you saying no. 
I don't think you're doing this in a callous way. I don't think there'll be harsh words spoken. I think you're simply going to say, look, you know, we can be friends if you want, but mm, not really wanting to uh, reconnect with you in any other way than that. They don't like it. Mm. They silently don't want to let you go. Four of Pentacles, but I don't know. I think they're going to open up. They could have financial issues. They're hanging on to their money. But they're looking at you putting up these defences. Mm. Oh, the devil. They could be a bit obsessed with you, Aquarius. Could be a Capricorn. But your energy is, no, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I'm not inviting you to my house. I'm not inviting you over for drinks. I, I'm, I don't think we should meet up after work. You're just saying no. Okay, what else are you saying to this person? Yeah, I think you got me into a third party situation. You're also saying to this person, I've moved on. I don't want drama in my life. I want peace and calm. Wow. Yeah. Ace of Wands in reverse. You've got no attraction for this person anymore. Maybe the chemistry's gone. Maybe you realise that they're sitting in lust and desire. Whatever they say to you, they're just attracted to you. And this is you thinking, yeah, it's just going to be a flurry of, you know, passionate nights and then they're going to head off again. You're saying no. Hmm. Strength card. You're holding back. You're turning your back on this person because you don't want drama. You don't want drama. The Wheel of Fortune. You want to move on to a new cycle. Looking at these two cards together, guys, this could very well also be a karmic soulmate. The Wheel of Fortune next to the devil. That's a karmic soulmate. You do not want to move into a new cycle with this person. You're turning your back on the potential of this. You, you're, you're saying no. Page of Cups, you're going to be nice about it. You're going to say, look, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did have emotion for you. But... I feel that it's really over. I have no interest in starting again with you. You know? Yeah. Yeah, you will open up to this person. High Priestess in reverse. But this is you seeing the reality of the situation. You may have gone off into a little bit of fantasy land about this person to begin with. It could be very attractive. But Aquarius, I think you realise that this was just not someone for you. I think I'm connecting with an Aquarian who is very grounded. You could have Earth in your chart. This is somebody very strong, career driven. And I think you might have connected with somebody who was very much about the passion. And to be honest with you, I think that there wasn't a lot else. There may not have been a lot between you in terms of conversation. It could be this person wasn't grounded in terms of their own career, and that worried you. It could be this person was younger, but I think that you're realising this is not something you want to delve back into. And the divine is very clearly saying, this is a karmic soulmate, they're coming back in, you're going to say no. We do not want you, with the judgment card in the reverse, to go around again in another cycle with this person. And I'm hearing it's just going to be another cycle. You're going to be caught up, and it's going to be no success all over again. Michael, what is the energy between these two people? What is the energy between this person and my Aquarius? Yeah, they are coming back. Six of Cups. There were some happy memories with this person. They were somebody you knew in another life, but you were not supposed to move into a serious relationship with them. Hmm. Michael, what is the three of wands for my Aquarius? I think this is you turning your back and looking to the future. The Hermit, you're doing a lot of thinking. For some of you, you may be meeting a Virgo. Hmm. 
How is Aquarius feeling at this point of time? Nine of Pentacles, very strong. Wow, guys, Nine of Pentacles. You're doing a lot of reflection on the past. You're building up your self-esteem and your confidence. You're putting up boundaries against those that treated you badly in the past that may want back in. And the divine is saying embrace change. And I think you're doing exactly that. You're getting strong, Aquarius. Very strong. Resilient. Mm. OK, so, Michael, what is going to happen in the future for my Aquarians? The sun, guys. We've got strong Leo, strong Virgo. This is you thinking about your future happiness, doing a lot of introspection. Or you're deciding to get to know a Leo or a Virgo. Mm. Three of Cups. There's going to be happiness. There's going to be some dates. A reason to celebrate. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. This is your person, Aquarius. And I don't think you've met them yet. I don't. I think as soon as you decide to get your confidence going again, to stop thinking about the past, to stop thinking about the hurt you went through, they're going to be just there. They're going to be just there. It's going to surprise you. Oh, and we have you feeling really excited about this. Aries energy. You're going for this. You're suddenly feeling lighter, more positive. Goodness, guys. <laughs> this is really nice energy for you. What else do we have for my Aquarians, please? The chariot in the reverse. You're no longer staying stuck. You're moving forward. You could be letting go of the memory of a Cancerian. But I think this is you getting to know someone. And feeling really optimistic. Page of Wands, yeah, you're messaging someone. This could be somebody coming to see you. I just don't think they're very far away. What is going to happen in this connection for my Aquarians? Oh, guys, Ace of Cups, you can't make this up. This is the most beautiful reading. Look at these cards. There's a lot of divine intervention as well. Look at these major arcanas. Goodness. Very excited, moving forward, having fun, going out. This is commitment and this is going to build into emotion. This is going to move into a love situation. Messages of passion. Page of wands. <laughs> Aquarius. Wow, okay. Who is this person? Who is this person? Who is this person for my lovely Aquarians? Your true person, King and Queen of Swords. Somebody intellectual, somebody you will love talking to, somebody who speaks the truth, somebody honest. This is exactly what you wanted. True pair. True pair. What is going to be the outcome between these two people? Six of Wands. Victory and success. Leo energy. This could be somebody that you meet literally at work. This could be somebody dealing with documents, doing well in their career. This is your person. My goodness, Aquarius. So get on it, guys. Stop looking at the past. Move on. This is your person. Yeah. Oh, my God. Two of Cups. 
Aquarius, whoever this is for, this is an incredible reading. This is your person, okay? So no more thinking back at the past. No more feeling, I'm never going to meet my person. You will have a test coming in of somebody that cannot forget you, but I think you're going to put up boundaries. And they're saying, look for the new. This is your person, okay? So we've got Virgo, Leo, Aries, Cancerian energy, Libra and Gemini. So I think you're going to meet one of those signs. This is going to be the one for you, okay? Aquarius, I'm leaving it there. I really don't want to clarify anymore because it's such a lovely reading. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, guys.